the talk. Throwing stuff out in the audience. I mean, it's just like, yeah, obviously you don't want nobody to get hurt, man. So, I mean, but it's, uh, it's like spur of the moment there. And everybody else is just like, Jesus Christ, you can't be throwing crap out in the audience. But uh, the crowd's always cool. I mean, we always need to get the stuff back or whatever. You know, it's just like Black Label ain't no fans. It's all one big family. So it's like, all right, well, here you go. Get the, here's the guitar back. She made it back up. Here she is. It's either just because we're pissed off or it's all, you know, I mean, because it's a live show, man. I mean, it's a live band. We're not playing the backing tracks. One thing you got to say, you got to love about Black Label. You can go see a Britney Spears show and all this other bullshit, but you never know what the fuck you're going to get with us. You know, between us throwing guitars, throwing, uh, I mean, the monitor's going out. The monitor's going out. We're throwing out the goddamn fucking PA. That's the ghost. Get the just as long as like, nobody gets hurt, because that will definitely put a damper on a good night of drinking. You know what I mean? No, I actually got into an argument with the monitors. This monitor is like an ice pick in my ear. What they were blowing my head off. All I'm trying to do is just get the thing off the stage. I start kicking the monitor off. I'm like, thank God. Now, now I'm not getting like decapitated by this fucking monitor <laughs> but the guys just figured fuck maybe it just fell down maybe he wants it back and the guys kept putting the goddamn monitor back on stage because they think they're doing me a favor like it fell off or something you notice the thing keeps coming back up so i gotta sing so i i can't sing and tell the guys dude guys dude just leave it on the fucking ground i don't need it it's just pure black label comedy you know what i mean it's just like yeah but i don't want it <laughs> you're gonna get it so it doesn't matter they try to do something right, and it just goes terribly wrong. It's pretty goddamn hysterical. I'm actually fighting with an inanimate object. It's like, dude, the monitor didn't do anything to you, and I'm just like completely pissed off that somebody just kicked me in the balls or something like that, and I just got up. I'm like punching the thing, and they're like ripping the cables out, throwing them in the ground. Just like, dude, what are you doing? Just stop. But pure black label fashion, we can't. Oh, what a bunch of pathetic individuals. Pathetic. At least we got booze. And that's why this is Zach Wilde. When you're having a troubled day, just toss back a couple cold beverages. The reason why we have the three-piece batch set, throw about brotherhood. You know, the original Hells Angels were a batch of World War II vets. On the planes, they'd write Hells Angels. You know, bombing the shit out of the fucking Nazis and everything like that. So the whole thing is, when they got home, the only thing that gave them an adrenaline rush was riding a motorcycle. Yeah. So that they, they were the Hell's Angels, and then it, it started from there. And, then, and then, you know, and they they made a motorcycle club. So it's it's no fucking big deal. They know it's a fucking rock band. Well, what do I got to do to get in the black label? It's just like if you dig the band, you wear the colors, you're in. I live in Birmingham, and you live up in London. And I'm just like, oh, boss, what the hell are you doing? What black label? What are they playing at? You know, let's just do a road trip. It's like the Grateful Dead. It just goes to show you how big the black label family's getting. Because that's what black label is. It's a gigantic family. There are no fans. It's just family. No, it's awesome, man. You know, so whether I'm out in, you know, I'm in the States, when I'm, whatever we call it, you know, England or the rest of Europe, Germany, I'm just basically seeing family. You know, I got a really fucking violent temper, and I fucking, I like booze, and so, you know, shit's gonna fucking happen. No, I, don't, I don't get fucking pissed at anybody for a reason. If somebody's fucking kicking me in the fucking nuts, and then I'm gonna bash your fucking head in. I would never hurt anybody, or go out of my way to bully anybody. I never bully anybody. I hate bullies. Bullies are fucking pussies. I'm a bully crusher. You fuck with me, you know, you, I'll be the first one to go in the schoolyard and go, why don't you pick on somebody your own size? Who the fuck are you? What are you gonna do about it? What are you about to find out? Leave the little guy alone. You know, I mean, I, I, I never, I'm always about helping people. Uh, you know, not, I would never pick on anybody or do anything like that. Ever. That's, just, that, that, that's an asshole fucking move, man. You know, I mean, I, you know, I go with Black Label. If a man doesn't fucking bleed and he doesn't cry, he's, you don't trust him. He ain't a fucking man. You know what I mean? Yeah. He got fucking balls, so fuck that. You know what I mean? You don't, you ever, you don't haze people, you don't beat, pick on people, beat them up. You, you don't do that shit. You know, somebody tries to haze me. I go, hey, motherfucker, come on, you know, I go, I go, you know what, you motherfuckers better kill me now, because I tell you right now, after your fucking five years get done kicking my ass, I'm going to kill every one of you motherfuckers. I'll, I'll just w make sure when you're walking home to your house, I'll just jump out of the bushes with a baseball bat and break every fucking goddamn bone in your fucking body. And then I'll bite your dick and balls off and first kiss them in your mouth.
just like you're hanging out on the road, it's like, eh, let's start breaking some shit. You know what I mean? It's just like, but I, I got, but I, but the funny thing is with us though, here time we we don't even try breaking anything. It just breaks. <laughs> it's not breaks, man. I mean, where you go? That sucks. We know we're gonna have to pay for it. You know what I mean? I mean, we always pay for it anyway. You know, then I, I get that 12, 13 fist shoved up my ass <laughs> from the warden. You know what I mean? So it's just like, that's great. You know, we could have put another down payment on our house with the amount of damages you guys just did. I go, uh, what do you say to that? <laughs> no, go, we, that. we go make another record. I mean, yeah. that's about it. Mm -hmm. But all we can do. Uh, well, like I always say, you want a rock and roll band? You're going to get a rock and roll band. I mean, this isn't an act. I'm that's not an true. actor. I'm not playing the part of Zach Wilde. Alan was out there, and he was there. That's Sandy Van Halen? Alan, yeah, there's Uncle Don over there. That's Randy. That's Randy Rose. Wait. She's got a nice hiney. Yeah. Yeah. Are you doing your exercises? Well, you can do it and go back. Here you go. And keep like that. Alright? One, two, three, go. That's it. That's the way you do it. Strong, buddy. Good set. That was a good set, buddy. How much did I got this one? We got six plates and 45. I got all 45 and then the bar's 45. I'm gonna have to make a deal around right after this. But... How do we prepare for the tours? Nah, it's real easy. We do it for a week. Then we got the show down, then it's time to roll. Fire up the engines, let's go kick some ass. I don't know, just chill out, drink beer, jam, and then like uh, take a break for a little while, ear break. Working on it. I gotta make sure Craig Moonlight looks like a fucking rock star. Look at that, that's doing good. 20 cases of lighter fluid. I got woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, yeah, I got my agenda right here. I, I, you know, it's, it's not so much I'm worried about fucking my pipe sucking ass. Just worried about my legs and my ass not looking good for the fucking rest of the tour. Because you know what? <laughs> so we, we know what they're coming to see. Well, this one's Lou, named after Lou Gehrig. Number, number four. Chill out, barbecue. You know, this way we don't, you don't kill yourself. You know, just like, you know, we just work on a song, try to get them, you know, hopefully everybody will remember them. See right here. This is the Black Label Tour. Oh, I can illustrate to you right here. All the blue lines 
are where all the bar stops are. The red ones are for where all the liquor stores are. And then the, uh, the yellow lines are all the brothels and the whorehouses. The Doom Crew has to be happy. So therefore, thus hence, we have to have the yellow lines on this map. Because without brothels and whorehouses, <laughs> I'm not going to be honest with you. I, I don't know which one is even more important. The liquor stores and the bars, I... Otherwise, this operation doesn't function. Doesn't happen. Brutal. I mean, being on that bus for 18 hours or whatever, it's like when you get on a ferry, you can go out and get some air and be not sweating your ass off for fucking 18 hours. I mean, it's... It, you know, it's cool to have a different change of pace and get on a boat. He's oh, tearing it up now, baby. Now, us ball and a strat has two different sounds, man. Strat has a beautiful sound to it. It's got that whole Mark Knopfler thing going on. You know? Yeah, that single coil. Yeah! This is awesome, man. Actually, finally we get a day where we don't have to fucking play. The dime used to do that. You know, during his guitar solo, like you know, he'd stop and do stranglehold. Yeah, he said last night whenever I started stranglehold, he was like, it, you know, it took him back. You know, like holy shit. You know, man, for some reason I kept the dime guitar too. That was that was bizarre. I was like, you know, why? You know, it's like someone made an appearance last night, and you know, it wasn't me. You know, so. Oh, they liked it. You know, they thought it was cool. You know? But yeah, I mean, it was just off the cuff. Like, yeah, I'm like, why did I pick that? You know, like, 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 weird things happen. Apparently, I have seemed to have slept through the entire 12-hour uh, ferry boat ride. Out of my way! I've had enough of you. <laughs> you smell of elderberry. There's uh, there's something to be said for riding on the uh, the Euro tour. And pretty much drinking what you know, what they give you. So, a lot of the beer is good, and I end up getting stuck with some of this, uh, some of this time where you need three or four hours where you really just really need to, you need to get it, you need to get to it, you need to make sure you get where you need to be, take care of it, and uh, that's what I did this morning. I couldn't sleep. Had a couple of cocktails, three or four. Five, six, ten, twelve, vodka and orange juices. Knock me in the dirt. So I don't really remember how I got back up to my cabin. Are you that trash right now? I feel pretty good otherwise other than the damn uh, the headache. So I'm taking some damn Euro ibuprofen or something. And uh, maybe I can pull it together here. Your mother was a hamster. And your father was something else. But you could piss father in your father. I fight in your general direction. People think it's a you know luxury life when you know I said get on a bus with us for three months and see how you you know how it, you know can change you. journeys in Europe, I've encountered many horrible foods. Nothing compares. Plop. Go ahead, man. Yeah, 
figure this out when I get the I used to do that when I first started with Oz. But you know what? <laughs> After 22 years in the music business, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> it went from this to this. <laughs> I crapped the night. Plop. Right the bowl. Get yourself a little piece. Good for you and me. Waiting to make the rock. So, fix it ready to hit it and give it everything we got. I dig these festivals. I mean, first of all, we're in another country. It's cool to see the kids. They're excited about seeing us. We're definitely a band that's on the rise. So it's new for a lot of them, which is really cool. I'm just really focusing, really, really focusing on my inner self. And uh, yeah, I think kids, if you really focus on your inner self, then you find your outer self. Makes sense, correct? I want to see a fucking insane mosh pit from hell over here. Yeah. Black in the key of doom. I'm gonna go have a fucking wank and a beer and go to bed. I thought it was great. The crowd was killing. Packed. You sound great on stage. Nah, I was standing there with the fucking wank. Dave fucking putting all these fucking delays and shit on it. What does it sound like a record? Yeah. It was killer. Oh, yeah. Kick ass. Thing. What is the essence? What are you trying to capture? What is it that you look for? Um... You only the go around once. Stuff in and out. Might as well take it advantage of it. It is a very sad day in rock and roll, let alone black label war. When this is all we've got. This is why we don't let anyone backstage. Is that really it? No, I think we got some other shit over there. But I can't stuff. do the show! Same, 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 so how's the new movie you're in? <laughs> yeah. Sucks. It's good. It's good. good. It's, it's, it's good. Like it. We drank. Drank a lot. Drank a lot. Drank yeah. a lot. Okay. Anybody else see anything off the bus? Uh, new platter. You got that crack cocaine? My yeah. morphine drip. Make sure it's a crack cocaine light. Wow. Well, yeah, I am about my girl's figure. Red balls. Red balls. Come on, red balls. We're going to try sense are coming in. Uh, because they're going to drop it away because you know why. Mm -hmm. see, see how paper thin everything's got? Yeah. Because I've been going with the white. See? Right there, I see it. My mm. <sighs> Ugh. Awful. Kids, don't drink this stuff. Give me four more, Roy. Get down. Like you want to rock. Let's go. This on He's a maniac. See kids, if you practice hard enough, and you work hard enough for them all in hours and years of practice, you can get on a ferry and drive about 12 fucking hours. You can drive on a bus for 7 hours to get to the ferry, then drive 12 hours on the ferry, then get off the ferry for another 6 hours. And all this could be yours. All this could be yours. I second that. You better love music. Because I tell you, Sometimes the music don't love you. <laughs>
now. Yeah. Well, but I guess you guys were playing with Yeah, you were doing the whole thing. Yeah, we were talking from previous, I believe. It was going on. The next award is for Riff Lord. Zach Wild! Call him my little thing for the mean fiddler. In we go. Metal Hammer Awards. The super cool people over at the magazine and everything like that. So I've known them, you know, since I started with Oz. And Who's your Riff Lord? Uh, be Tony Iommi, Jimmy Page. Right. And uh, Tony's here, so you're going to be catching up with him? Yeah, hopefully. You know, I mean, if Tony's around, I mean, he's the man. So, Excellent. you know what I mean? Okay. Without Tony Iommi, there'd be no Zach Wild. The best riff lord at the Golden Gods 2005 to Zach Wild! <laughs> Zach Wild! Fuck yeah! The London chapter of the Black Label Society. Here we are again. Make some motherfucking noise! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! All right, that sounds like normal. Okay. Cheers. Zach, here's your award. I right, just figured give the guy a little uh, cocktail, give the statue a cocktail. Plus the award out there, I mean, it ain't my award. I mean, they, they voted for me, so, you know, I mean, it's just like, guys, here you go, man. They threw it out to the rest of the berserkers out there from the Black Label chapter, so, you know, we were in London right like then. Let them have it, you know what I mean? One thing I gotta say about Dimebag, he was one of us. He was definitely a Black Label brother. He was the first Black Label brother to be laid to rest with the colors. The good Lord needed him. I mean, it's fucked up what all went down and everything like that. But the thing is this, he's here with us right now. Because he's, he's floating around here right now, if I can tell you that much. I'll just tell you a good dime bag story. Because there's always good stories with dime. Uh, the, the only memories I have about him, it's just they're always beautiful memories. Because he was such a beautiful soul. I'm playing with Ozzy. He comes down with these gigantic posters of Randy Rhodes. I'm getting ready to go into the room to see Ozzy, and Tim Bowen, who's the vice president of Black Label Society, he comes in there, he goes, asshole, we gotta go, we gotta get in the room and see the old man. So as I'm going down there, I go into another room, and usually I know where the fuck I'm going, and as I walk in the room, there's a bunch of people hanging out, and there's Dime sitting there, and he just lifts his head up, and he goes, hey, motherfucker, I got something for you. And I go, oh, Christ. Now I'm just figuring he got a vibrator so I could stick it up my ass or some shit, you know? But anyway, so we get in the fucking room and he goes, I, I open up these, he, he actually gift wrapped them. I gotta be honest with you, he gift wrapped these fucking things. I open the fucking things up and it's uh, these awesome pictures of Randy Rhodes. You know, like live shots of Randy playing and stuff with the polka dot V and everything like that. He has to catch a plane that night. He ends up staying on the bus with me that night. We're, we got a bottle of Crown Royal, and there's two glasses. And, and he goes, you know what these glasses are, Zach? He goes, one's D and one's Z. Let's get it on. And the fucking thing is, 
mind you, about two bottles of fucking Crown Royal later. Mind you, we were both speechless. I mean, the whole thing is, all I remember is we woke up in the morning, he's in the bunk, I'm half on him, he's half on me, and we were just like all fucking smashed out of our fucking, completely missed the flight, missed fucking everything, a record company meeting and everything like that, and it was like, oh, fuck the record company, I don't give a shit about none of this fucking shit anyway, so you know what I mean? So anyways, cheer, here's, here's the dime. And uh, finally, Zach, Scotch or bourbon? Um, no, my wife makes sure I don't drink that stuff anymore. I'm just, it's just uh, steroids and crack cocaine and beer now. Right, so. okay. Gentlemen. Is this is fucking bullshit that we gotta cut shit out. It's our DVD. Well, no, that's it. No, that's not what I was explaining to you. The way I was explaining was right. they wanted to focus on one or two songs and the best of the batch and use that okay. as you did on the other DVD from Japan. All right. That well, was not in the original set that we did with Robert. This is. Uh, I'm just saying this. it would be cool if like Craig did one, two drum solos and he could pick from the batch oh, of the two. Like, oh, you know what? The first night was awesome. Second night, yes. I hate it. So the master has spoken. No, no, the emperor cool. has spoken. We're fucking, Ozzy Osbourne would not cut out any songs out of his oh, list. Oh, absolutely, dude. For any other fucking band. Absolutely. I've learned from the old man, all right? I'm any other band open up for the old man, he go fuck off. Right, I'm not disagreeing with he you. He doesn't buddy. cut shit out of his set for another fucking, for, oh, because we got to let that, fuck that. There was no time restraints. If Ozzy wants to do a fucking two and a half hour show, then let's, let's fucking make it happen. All right, so now we're getting dicked on this one. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I guess we got the time restraints because we got to make the ferry and all this other <laughs> bullshit. So what we're going to do is when I introduce the fucking band, the uh, Jazz Odyssey's out. Kick in the fucking Jazz Odyssey. Everybody kicks our all fucking ass. We're missing the ferry and I don't give a fucking rat's ass. So all I'm doing is introducing right. the band. That's that. On the bass, Captain Lomenzo. <laughs> Give it up for Louisiana Lightning, Craig Nunnemacher.
Evil Twin, Nick Catney. Sit for a check. And you can deal with fucking whoever the powers that be on this one. All right, this is like, like you know, the only time I'm soloing is before In This River and after In This River and maybe at the end of Suicide Messiah and it ain't gonna be a fucking Allman Brothers jam. Yeah, you're gonna and have that's to turn that. around and go. No, it's gonna be short. Well, it'll be just like this show we did in Barcelona. But we're getting dick once again. It's our fucking show and we're getting cunted out. Once again, we're being treated like cunts, which is bullshit. Who's what that? Uh, All right, let me go check on the guys. We should have done like you know two nights and one. Two nights and one. That's what. Yeah, we talked about that last night. Thing, but. Yeah, you think fucking Led Zeppelin recorded fucking uh, song remains the same in one night? That was a batch of fucking different you shows. <laughs> no, it's a batch of different shows, and they recorded all the best of them. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna tell Led Zeppelin they can't do Days and Confused tonight? Because yeah, uh, it's still a little too long. And they're like, fuck you, we're doing it. If we get some magic in the song tonight, oh yeah, exactly. We're doing it, exactly. But now it's kind of like, no, nah, just do the normal record version. Yeah. So that's what's happening tonight. That's why I'm fucking hot. But you know, I, mean, anyways, I felt the same way. So yeah, well, great. We've been there. We talked about it last night. I mean, and not only that, this audience, every crowd deserves to come down. If they want to listen to Black Label's fucking CD, let them listen to the fucking goddamn CD. It's a fucking live show. It's ruthless and fucking insane. Listen to the fucking CD if you want to listen to the motherfucking CD. I don't, I don't want to go see a fucking replica of the fucking CD. I can always listen to that at home and jerk off in my fucking bedroom with the lights down, you know? Oh, uh, Alright, so protocol after the show, buddy, we're coming back up to the dressing room. Let the house clear, yeah. and then the bus will be here. Another Alright? Wait, 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 one more. By loadout? No, this is what we're doing. Right after the show, we're going straight off that stage into a fucking cab, and okay. we're leaving back to the hotel. Oh, so we are going back to the hotel? Yes. Okay. All right, we're not going to be strapped up in this fucking room. Well, it's going to be a quick loadout. We got eight guys. Quick loadout? It took you guys five fucking hours to load in. Five. It took you... You got here at 11. We got here at 11. All it was four. It was, all, it was right. 10 after four. Right. That's five fucking hours. The drums weren't even set up. What the fuck are you saying? What I'm saying is they brought us all the new kicks for them. We got all new heads for Dewey. Dewey put every all the new cymbals, all that stuff. It took four. It took five fucking hours, Tim. Hey, brother. You mean you're going to get this shit out in a half an hour? No, not a half hour. It'll probably be right at an hour and 15 minutes tonight. They got six loaders for no, us. We're not, we're, no, we're yeah. not waiting for the fucking bus. I understand bus, that. Because then we're sitting okay. around the fucking bus. So before okay. everyone, all the rest of the berserkers get the fuck out of here, Mark told we're me going into a cab to the hotel. and Elvis okay. have left the building. Absolutely. So you guys can leave the bags here. We'll put them on the bus. And then we'll have the shuttle. Otherwise, we're going to be strapped up there for fucking 16 hours. No, no, fucking we'll not being a we'll jerk off shuttle. anybody. No, 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 no. We'll have the shuttle in there. What Mark told me was, everybody was going to come here. The original plan was to leave from here with the bags. And well, that's go. the original plan. This is okay. the, this is the motherfucking plan. All right, plan. well, I'll go down there. Straight, straight off the fucking stage. Back to into hotel. a fucking car. We're bolting the fuck out of here. Got it. That's that. You ready, buddy? Yeah. Okay. The drums won't even put together. You gotta change. Yeah, yeah we just got the new heads on. Bullshit. I know, but what I'm just saying is, like, oh, what are you doing? You know, I mean, I guarantee it. Would it take you five hours to set a fucking drum kit up? Get the fucking gear on the fucking stage and set it up. You know what it took Mark and Ron to set this shit up? 45 fucking minutes. Five hours into it, they still ain't got... The drums are still not even together. And there's not even any guitar sounds. I, you know... I'm just stating fact. You know what I mean? It's fucking bullshit. I'm tired of fucking excuses. And fucking like, uh, you know how to play a crazy train sack? I will not, nah, but you know, I, I had to bring the kids out to school yesterday. Oh, well, then guess what? We got a new guitar player. Goodbye. I'm stating fact. I'm with you, baby. Let's just let me get on board for the show tonight. That's all right. I mean, it's fucking bullshit. Mm -hmm. You didn't see any of us making any fucking goddamn excuses. Actually, I haven't had enough beer. Mm -hmm. Give me a kiss. No, I know. I know. I'm just saying, once again, Tim's talking about a fucking. 
hour loadout? It took them five hours to get the shit in here. Shut that fucking door, man. I would have got through the in-store quicker if my feelings weren't hurt. Well, what happened? Well, who hurt your feelings? <laughs> somebody said that my hair wasn't as blonde as it used to be. Did you know? I, don't, I still think it looks blonde. Right, it is blonde. I mean, you know, well, what am I going to shake it out or something? Yeah. yeah. Rock it. So who said that? Who do we have to kill? You know what that said about my blonde hair? Picture, and they also made fun of my ass hair as well. Hey, well that, can't be, that can't be happening. No, they said the beard's okay, but the ass hair's fucking must be must be highly improved. No. Yeah, they said the length of it isn't as long as it used to be. Look at that, I'm trimming off the split ends of the ass. Yeah. This is a Black Label Day Off. Just goes to show you that there is no such thing as day off in the Black Label world. It's good. The lights down, the digits. After you're playing all the hot licks. Slide, baby, slide. And I was in the hotel there, and uh, when I came back and boarded the bus there, I heard this, and I thought, what in the hell are they doing now? So then, uh, once I did make my way through the crowd there, I realized that uh, they had had the shooting gallery from the front of the bus, shooting clear to the rear of the bus, which is the lounge is, busting the bottles and uh, cans, and whatever could blow up and explode was the best, you know, because the BLS SWAT team's always got to be in practice, you know. So you're talking about 38 foot? Oh, you're talking about the Mafia the tour. Well, the Mafia tour was the day we decided to do all that. It had to be raining outside. So we just had the shooting gallery on the inside of the bus. Oh, I thought that this man shot the right there. Yeah. Zach? What? What did you like? How what was your target? Oh, it was live beer cans, live beer, beer cans. bottles. Stuff, you know, that's relatively a pain in the ass to clean up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a beautiful sound. You got a marginal less pull than you also have. <laughs> that means there's plenty of them in there. Oh, music to my ears. Sabbath, Zeppelin, and the clanging of beer bottles. Oh, lovely. The fresh sound of ice glistening. Yes, glistening. Shooting the golden nectar of the gods. Yes! Yes! <coughs> I think I just blew out an ovary. I think we're good. your weapon. But here he comes, bringing more beverages.
so sexy, yet so, oh so sultry, babe Cause I'm a sexy man I like wearing makeup, pancake makeup, baby Oh, don't you know, baby Cause I'm really not a man I got one thing to tell you, baby it Happened some years ago Oh, baby, oh, yeah Let me tell you, child Oh, Lord, it happened some years ago I looked in the mirror and I saw what was between my legs I said, Mr. Cock and Balls Oh, Mr. Cock and Balls I'm sorry, child, but you got to go. What? This is the story of my sex change operation, man. What? <laughs> well, you know, you want to educate people about these things. <laughs>